603,550 men of fighting age led the Israelites of probably two and a half million or more out of Egypt and into the wilderness. When the whole company seems to be heading into great sin, can one man make a difference? The Bible is instruction for life, and it applies to the situations we humans face every day. These short commentaries by Al illustrate the practical nature of the Word of God. Here's Al Parr with another short commentary. The occasion was that meeting of Balaam with Balak when Balak wanted Israel to be cursed, and he brought Balaam, and Balaam three times was limited by God to blessing Israel. But Balaam apparently wanted the reward that Balak offered, and so eventually he found a way for Balak to be with the Moabites somewhat successful in uh, slowing down Israel. How did he do that? Well, the record is in Numbers chapter 25 and beginning in verse number 6. One of the children of Israel came and brought to his brethren a Midianitish woman in the sight of Moses and in the sight of all the congregation of the children of Israel who were weeping before the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. They were weeping because they'd already been practicing this. It's a description before in this chapter tells many were doing this, but now we're focusing in on one man in one situation. And when Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, saw it, he rose up from among the congregation, took a javelin in his hand, and he went after the man of Israel into the tent and thrust them both through, the man of Israel and the woman, through her belly. So the plague was stayed from the children of Israel. And those that died in the plague were 24,000 people. <clears throat> Not just because of one man. Uh, Moses had already told the uh, uh, Levites to go and uh, take action like this. But why do we focus on this one man? It's because of what God later said about the situation. The Lord spake unto Moses in verse 10 of Numbers 25 it is, saying, Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, has turned my wrath away from the children of Israel, while he was zealous for my sake among them, that I consumed not the children of Israel in my jealousy. Wherefore, say, Behold, I give unto him my covenant of peace. God singled out one man. God focused on that one man and his actions, and thereby showed us, told us, clearly demonstrates to us what one man can do. One man with great zeal, committed to God, can make a big difference. We don't know anything more much about Phineas. We know that he continued as a priest uh, throughout uh, his years. Uh, we know that uh, his descendants continued as priests according to the law. We read about uh, some of them as we go on through the history. But God speaks here about what Phineas did. When he saw the whole nation bent on sin, they were intermarrying and uh, practicing fornication with, without marriage with the foreign women. And uh, Phineas uh, was uh, personally offended, personally involved. He personally was zealous toward God to defeat this evil practice. And he put a stop to it. Now, God isn't telling us today to go out and take a javelin and run people through with it. But He did tell us to stand for the truth, to defend the truth, to oppose error, and He told us to do so by preaching the Word and by our practice of the Word, that is, the New Testament Gospel of Jesus Christ. And each and every one of us in our own communities can make a difference. One person standing for truth, regardless if the whole city is turning against God, can make a difference. Will you be that one? God blessed Phineas, and He blessed the nation through Phineas. Will God bless you? Please commit some time today to read your Bible. See for yourself how practical it is. And contact the Church of Christ in your community. Or to find the nearest local church, visit www.churchofchrist.org. There are dashes between those words, Church of Christ. These short commentaries by Al are presented by Confirming the Churches. Find us on the web at www.acts1541.org.